Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to program the view layer of our Activity 1.7, the Germ Fighter app. Now for this view layer, we're going to look at adding a couple different components to this. But first, let's take a look at the components that are already preset for us. Looking at our user interface, you'll notice that we have a score label, timer label, start and reset button, as well as a sound on checkbox. That will allow us to basically turn our sound on or off based off of personal preference. Now we're going to go ahead and add several different components to our view layer as well. We're going to add a canvas. We'll go ahead and add our image sprites, and then we'll go ahead and add two non-visible components as well. So let's take a look at getting that view layer set up. So the first thing we're going to want to do is add a canvas to our screen. And we're going to do that by going down to our drawing and animation tab. And then we're going to grab our canvas tool and drag it into our user interface. Notice that we're going to put that canvas underneath our score and timer labels. Now, once we have that canvas set, we're going to need to go ahead and change a few of the properties on the right hand side. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is change our background color from our default color to red. Then we're going to go down and change the height to 350 pixels. And then from there, we'll change the width to fill parent. Now we're gonna use that canvas to allow our image sprites to move about the screen. So we're gonna go ahead and add two image sprites. The first image sprite, we're gonna go ahead and drag in towards the bottom of the screen, and we're gonna go need to go and rename this. So we're gonna go ahead and call this our white blood cell sprite. And then we can go ahead and click okay. And we're going to need to change one of the properties that are found on this right hand side, and that's going to be the picture. Notice right now it is a blank image, but we're going to go ahead and change the picture to match the white blood cell PNG file. Once we do that, we'll notice that our white blood cell basically will show up at the bottom of the screen. And what we'll be able to do is use our finger to basically drag him across the bottom of the screen once we get into the programming portion. The next thing we're going to need to do is go up to our image sprite and we're going to drag one to the top of the screen. And again, we're going to go ahead and change that picture to match our germ PNG. That will be our germ sprite and his job is going to be to basically bounce around the screen and try to get past the white blood cell. So we're going to leave him near the top of the screen and again, we'll program his coordinates once we get into the programming portion. Now that we have all the visible components labeled and listed in our UI, we're going to need to go ahead and add two non-visible components. The first one we're going to look at is going to be found under the media drawer, and that is going to be this sound component. We're going to drag the sound onto the canvas, and you're going to notice that it'll show up at the bottom as a non-visible component. The next non-visible component that we're going to need to add is going to be a sensor, and that is going to be our clock component. So we can go ahead and drag that clock, let it go. And again, you'll see that you have another non-visible component at the bottom of the screen. This basically concludes your user interface or your view layer. And now we're ready to get set on programming what those components will do.